Hello and welcome to this session on accounting at McGee. There are two courses today which I want to talk to you about. We have our BSc Honours Accounting with Specialisms and our BSc Honours Accounting and Marketing. So what I'm going to cover today is why study accountancy, why study each of these courses um, at Ulster and take you through the details of both of these courses, what you will learn, how you'll be taught, how we'll support you, and then finally future careers. So why study accountancy? Well, accountancy provides you with fantastic career prospects. You can work in a small firm, you can be self-employed, you can become a consultant, you can work in a big four mid-tiered accountancy practice like PwC, KPMG, Deloitte. You can work in industry, you can be a financial controller or financial accountant within industry or a management accountant within industry um, or there, there's all different roles within industry for accountants or and finally another well not finally because there's loads of options but um, you can also work in the public sector um, as an accountant there so loads of career prospects being an accountant also gives you huge opportunities to travel so once you qualify as an accountant you can take that as a passport and you can work anywhere around the world. The third thing then I just wanted to mention is work environment. Since COVID-19, a lot of businesses and accountancy practices are offering flexible working environments. So um, you can work from home, you can work in the office, you can work in a hybrid model where you work part time at home, part time in the office. So there's huge um, flexibility around this career. So I'm just going to talk you through the accounting with specialisms degree first. So this degree covers the basics of accounting while also letting you acquire a specialism in taxation, management or analytics. So why study this course at Ulster University? Now this course is our premium course. It offers the maximum professional accreditation from the professional accountancy bodies. So when you want to become an accountant, you do your degree first and then you will do um, professional exams for, with an accountancy body like Chartered Accountants Ireland or ACCA and this, this program allows you to gain the maximum exemptions from those professional body exams. So it's our premium accountancy course at Ulster University McGee. We have top class facilities and teaching support, so you will be getting taught by, by staff that have worked in professional practice and industry. We have specialised teaching and seminar rooms. We have um, accounting software packages available in our labs, and that all facilitates your learning. We have a number of industry sponsored prizes and internships that um, if you go on this course, you can um, apply for. So there's an annual prize given every year and over 20 local and national employers um, uh, award students with um, prizes for the first, um, first place in, in particular modules within the degree. That event also um, allows brilliant opportunities to showcase our students and um, to employers and it's great for networking. So what you will learn in this course, well, you will learn double entry bookkeeping, financial and management accounting, audit, tax and finance. We start from scratch, so we assume no knowledge. So we, we start, um, if you don't know double entry bookkeeping already, we will go back to the start and we will ensure that you have a good basic understanding of double entry bookkeeping before you proceed on to other subjects in the degree. Along with the, these problem solving skills, we have a number of software packages that are integrated throughout the course. So Excel, Sage, Power BI, IDEA, just a number of, uh, of packages that you will learn um, when, when you're taking the course. And we also emphasize transferable skills such as communication and presentation skills. So the way this accounting with specialisms course works, in first year you get to um, study the fundamentals and you do a taster module for each specialism. So you'll be doing in first year modules like principles of management, you will be doing economics, 
then you will be taking taster modules in the accountants, uh, the analytics specialisms, the tax specialism, and the management specialism. So you'll get to taste each of the specialisms. And then when you move into second year, you will choose which specialism you will do then in second year. In second year, you will, um, you will be doing financial accounting, management accounting and finance. And then your, tax, your, your specialism will be either taxation, analytics or management. In second year as well, we have a professional skills module. So we start to get you prepared for applying for placement. Placement is optional in this degree. So if you decide to go on placement, you will um, go, you will have a placement year, which is in the third year of the course. And you can do your placement um, in Northern Ireland. You can do it in the Republic of Ireland, or some students go off and do it in England or America. You also have an option, instead of doing a placement year in industry, you can go and do a study abroad, maybe go to Washington or, or somewhere else. Final year then is either third year if you don't do your placement or fourth year if you have done a placement. When you come back in final year, you will be applying your knowledge and advancing your specialisms modules. You will have, you will be continuing on with financial accounting, management accounting, managerial finance. You will be doing audit and then you'll be doing your analytics or tax or management specialisms. So the second course I want to talk you through is the BSc Honours Accounting and Marketing. So this combines two important business functions. So 50%, so half your modules will be accounting modules and the other half or 50% will be marketing modules. So we build, it, it builds on solid foundations for a career in business. So you're doing half accounting and half marketing with this degree. Again, there is strong professional and research links. So you do get accreditation from the professional bodies. You will get accreditation from ACCA and Chartered Accountants Ireland and CIMA if, if, um, if for the accountancy. But you will not get as many accounting exemptions um, on this course as you do with the accounting with specialisms. And that's because you don't do as many accounting modules in this degree, because you're doing half accounting and half marketing. But the advantage here is that you're getting accreditation from other professional bodies in marketing. So you get um, accreditation from CIM and the Marketing Institute. So they're marketing professional bodies. So you're, you're going to get a, a broader range of, of accreditation with, with this course, um, but not as many um, exemptions as you do for the accounting with specialism degree just because you're not doing as many accounting subjects as you're doing as you would do if you were doing the accounting with specialisms degree. Again, we have a beautiful friendly camp campus on the border of Europe where you'll be studying. So we've top class facilities and we have a new teaching block and seminar rooms and lecture halls. So it's all very modern campus. Academic excellence. We've had the top performing students in Ulster University in this course. We've had excellent national student survey and we have the prize giving as well on this, this course. So what will you learn? Problem solving. So you will do double entry bookkeeping also in these accounting modules in this course. And you will be doing um, different types of problem solving for accounting and finance. You will be working um, in a team, predominantly in your marketing modules. Um, so you will be working at, at, at group work is part of part of this degree. Leadership as well. You will be studying leadership and you'll be learning about leadership and you'll be learning it in the context of accounting and marketing management. So how does this course work? Well, the accounting and marketing course in first year, you do the fundamentals. So you do the fundamental modules in accounting and marketing module in the management again you will be doing um marketing you'll be doing financial accounting you will be doing an introduction to taxation all of that in first year then in second year the way it works in second year is you'll be doing half your your subjects for marketing and half your subjects for for marketing 
You will also have a professional skills module again in, on this program um, to prepare you for placement. Placement is optional. So you, again, you can do your placement wherever you want, as I've said before, or you have the study abroad option as well on this course. In final year then, you come back and you do half your modules in accounting and half your modules in marketing. So your modules in accounting will be your financial accounting and management accounting and auditing. And then you'll be doing your marketing management and digital marketing and uh, international marketing modules in, in final year. You will be taught in large lecture halls and small group teaching. You will also be taught uh, in labs for any software packages we're using. So um, you're, you'll be doing this in, in any of the accounting modules that we're using software. We'll, 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 we'll teach that in the labs. The timetable, so a typical timetable for accounting with specialisms, it looks like this. You're usually in three days a week. Timetables change from year to year and semester to semester, but generally you're in three, three um, days a week. You will usually have two hour lecture and a one hour seminar. So our first years this year in semester accounting with specialisms, we're in on a Monday from 11.15 to 2.15, Tuesday 2.15 to 5.15, and Thursday 9.15 to 12.15. In semester two, our accounting spe with specialism students were in on a Monday from 1.15 to 4.15, 2.15 to 5.15 on a Tuesday, and 9.15 to 12.15 on a Wednesday. So usually three days a week. This is the same for the accounting and marketing, again, three days a week, usually three hours per, per topic, or we call them modules. So you can see here that our accounting and marketing students were in Monday, Tuesday and Thursday in semester one, and they were in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in semester two. So that, that's just a typical timetable, but I just want to caveat that by saying the timetables do change from year to year and semester to semester, and but generally it's three days a week Three, three hours a module. So uh, we bring in, so how will you be taught? Well, we bring in guest lectures from industry. We teach, we try to teach as practical as possible and we have practical workshops. We teach Excel, we teach Power BI, Sage, and we have personal study support on Blackboard Learn and library resources. So you will get training on how to use a library and how to make the best of their sources. So with assessment, uh, generally your accounting modules will all be assessed with 75% exam. And that's because they're professionally body accredited. So you will have exams in your accountancy modules and then usually 25% of the module will be coursework. In the marketing modules, they're more likely to be 100% um, coursework and um, we try to get as many employer projects and group assignment projects in as, as possible because they, they're great, they're great skills to learn. So how do we support you? Well, we have every student is allocated a studies advisor, so um, we get one to one studies advice. Your lecturers will have an open door so they'll, they'll invite you to get in touch with them, to email them or come and see them. We generally try to ensure that you are in small classes for seminars so that you get to, to meet people in the class and meet, meet your lecturers. We have a number of online resources available. We use virtual simulations too to, so that you can see how businesses work. We use case studies. Um, we have career sessions built into the degree. So we have career sessions built in the whole way through first year, second year and final year. We have a brilliant um, employability services um, um, consultants who come in and chat to you. And we have a wide range of student support services available. There is opportunities on both of these courses to get real world experience. So I mentioned placement uh, before. So a number of our students a lot of our students go on placements, so you can go on placement to companies like PwC, EY, KPMG, 
Grant Thornton, um, you can go to local companies such as JT Carlin and Company, you can go into industry like Energia or State Street Corporation, they're just some examples. So there's a wide range of placements available. What happens here is that the employers advertise their placement opportunities with the university and our employability department will keep letting you know what placement opportunities you can apply for. So we use that professional skills module in second year to keep you informed of and keep you informed of what placements are available and how to apply for them. We do encourage placement because students who do placement um, achieve a higher final degree classification are more likely to, to be in full-time employment within six months of graduating and it builds your professional network and if you do placement you do obtain an extra diploma upon graduating along with your degree. There's a lot of opportunities at the minute for internships so you can do an internship during the Easter holidays or the summer holidays so it could be a three-week inter internship, it could be an internship for the whole of the summer. So a lot of companies are now offering internships. Some companies now this year have been off offering virtual internships as well as um, on-premises internships as well. So there's huge opportunities here. So some of the companies that are offering internships include EY, PWC, um, Grant Thornton, Deloitte, City, all of those are offering internships. And again, we help you apply for these um, these internships, and they are advertised throughout the the uh, in the uh, they're advertised um, throughout the university as well. There's also just I just want to mention as well here there is opportunities for internships abroad as well. So um, I, I have a few students this year applying for internships in Fiji, so they can do that internship then during the summer. There's some internships also available in America and their students going doing that this, this summer as well. So we try to get as much real world experience as possible onto the course. So, um, we, we, every semester we have different guest lectures coming into our classes. So um, we had recently we've had uh, guest lectures such as Philip Maher from his director in Massars. Um, Jamie Renahan from Bank of Ireland. We have Kevin Prendergast, who's the Chief Executive of the Irish Auditing and Accountant Supervisory Authority. So he comes in to the students about the, the recent developments in, in regulations in the, the accounting and auditing space. So we always have a different, uh, we always have a load of different um, uh, guest lectures coming in to, to chat to you about real what's happening um, in, in real world experience. We have industry led assignments as well. So you have a tax assignment in year one that is led by EY and jointly assessed by EY. We have a SAGE assignment, which is based on practice. It's a, a, you're doing accounts for the, the, a, a small business. So you, you, do, you do a set of accounts for, for a business. And, and finally, your students and your digital marketing plan, uh, finally, your students be, are, are usually, they work with a small medium enterprise to help with their digital marketing plan. So you'll be doing that in final year. So we do encourage um, students to work with, with local employers and industry. So these graduates from these two, two um, programs are in high demand. They're in high demand because of their technical skills and also their professional skills. So employers are looking for accreditation, accredited recognized qualifications with practical experience. And these two courses give you that. So they give you a number of exemptions from the professional accountancy bodies, um, which means that you have less exams to do with those bodies um, when you graduate. That makes you very attractive to employers. So that, that's one thing that employers want. Employers are looking for um, graduates who are able to solve practical problems, be creative and have software computing skills. We ensure that that's integrated and you learn that throughout this, both of these degrees. Students want, or employers want you to be able to project management and work in teams. There is group work involved in these programs and group work is very important because when you go out into industry, you're never working on your own. You will always be working. 
So that, that's something that employers are, are, are looking for in graduates. Good communication skills is another um, thing that employers want. And we, we embed those skills um, into the degree to ensure that when you graduate, you have all of those skills that employers are looking for. Our graduates are in demand, as I've said before. So there is a number of opportunities. So students will go, um, you can go and be a trainee chartered accountant or a trainee chartered certified accountant or a trainee management accountant. You can go on to set up your own business. You can go into analytics. You can become a manager. You can become a chartered tax advisor, a business analyst. So there's so many degrees that you can, you, or so many employments that, that you can have your choice of once you graduate. 95% of our students go into employment um, straight after they graduate. Some students then um, maybe go traveling or maybe wait for a year later to, to go in, go into to a job. Um, along with the trainee accountant, trainee tax advisor jobs, if you do the marketing, there's opportunities for graduate marketing management trainee positions, digital marketing executive, going into work in public relationship. So the marketing part of the accountant marketing degree opens up those opportunities for you. So what do our employers think? Well, we have got great feedback from employers on both of these degrees. Accounting students from McGee are ready to hit the ground running and have exposure to SAGE and Excel while, while doing their degree. Employers um, find that very useful. Local graduates for local jobs, it's great to link up UU McGee. Um, employers like to sponsor prizes and to get to know the graduates, their studies. Um, graduates from McGee have consistently passed the professional exams in their first attempt. So when you go out after you graduate with these degrees, you have a very good, um, very good grounding in accounting which allows you to, to, to pass your, your professional exams with accounting bodies um, after you qualify. And there's another employer just down the bottom saying students are ready to hit the ground knowledge, hit the ground running, sorry, tax knowledge and understanding is great from, from the students in these courses. So McGee itself is a fantastic um, campus to um, study on. It's located in the heart of Northern Ireland, Londonderry. There's a vibrant life life. There's loads of culture venues, city festivals. We have the biggest Halloween festival. Um, I think it might be the biggest in the world now, but it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, jazz festival every May. Loads of different festivals throughout the year. And it's one of the most affordable places to live in the UK. So it's just such a friendly campus. When you walk around it, even if you have the opportunity, take a walk around the campus and see for yourself. It, it's just a very vibrant and a nice campus. Now, these two slides here are just when you go on to the UCAS, the UCAS code for the accountant with specialisms is NN43. And that's just, and you will see a, a summary of, of everything that I've just talked about on the, the, the UCAS site. Same for accounting and marketing. Um, the UCAS code for this course is NN45. And again, you have the summary there of, of, of that course. Just to let you know that we continually review um, our courses each year to take advantage of new teaching approaches, development, and research, industry, and what the, the professions require. So just to be aware that modules may change for, for your year of entry. And the exact module available will depend on course updates, staff availability, timetable, and student demand. So the most up-to-date module list for both of these courses is available currently on the Ulster University website if you go into the course, course details for these courses. 
If you need more information, you can um, go, you can email study at ulster.ac.uk or as I say, go on to the website and you will find course details on the website. UCAS.com is where you apply. And that is me. And I hope to see you all in September. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.